Hello, hello and hello again. Today I've decided to do a challenge for myself. I will spend 24 hours of my time studying Unreal Engine 5. I'm looking at the results uh, right now and I'm crazy about it. I hope you find the video not only entertaining but also useful. I will not drag out the intro. This is a copies design with you and let's go. The author of the channel lives in Ukraine and he is in the process of learning English. My name is Amelia and I am the voice assistant of the author of the channel. Enjoy watching. I couch the time and quickly run to watch the Unreal Engine 5 guides on YouTube, but uh, for some reason they are very long. I need something faster. I was surprised that in general the video tutorials on Unreal Engine last much longer than the lesson on Blender. I started listening to a short video, the after of this video talks interesting, but I need more speed. I run the program and try to set up my first scene in Unreal Engine 5. After launching, I select the game selection, tick the starting content checkbox so that the scene would have a starting set of items. I came up with a cool name, I need more time, and unfortunately UE5 takes very well too long to launch. Whoa, finally it's launched. I waited so long, Unreal Engine 5, I told my nurse so well it's launched because I thought it was something wrong with my computer. After that I started playing with uh, all sorts of settings and understand what, what button is responsible for what. Uh, is how to move on the viewport and so on. I acted this way, first I went to see a video on YouTube and uh, then what tried to repeat but in my own way in Unreal Engine 5. I realized that I need to go to Quixel Bridge to get interesting assets with which to make an interesting location. At first I did not fully understand how to navigate uh, in all this, but uh, it turned out very simple. We just take a download set, then click on the plus sign and add an dashboard to your scene and it's all saved in our file system of project. I'm still shocked that the render works in real time and produce an awesome quality. I'm trying to put everything in its place beautifully to assemble something so harmonious and impressive. Basically all 3D software is similar and it's probably easier for me than for someone who is using any of the programs for the first time. I like doing landscape in Unreal Engine much better than in Blender because it's so much faster and doesn't slow down which amazes me over and over again. After I sketched out the general features of the location, it was very necessary detailing of objects. It was necessary to the location was interesting to took and study it. I came up uh, with a little story about it all taking place during the post-apocalypse. Uh, uh, it's a shelter that has an airdrop and a water supply for the survivors. I lost a lot of time making the grass and addition makes the grass move. I created a cube and uh, on the cube I put grass after that I went into the file system to the material settings and uh, started playing with the parameter called wines. I start to scatter grass uh, on the scene but to make the grass to be right and off in our location should be so that it matched uh, the color and I change the color of the grass make it a uh, little darker and everything seems to get better. I couldn't have figured it out without the help of YouTube. Uh, it's actually a very amazing time when you can learn everything on the internet. I just said that as a red tree. Look at just how the grass moves. I love it. I love Unreal Engine 5. At this point I feel like an artist because I started painting with grass like paints. It's very relaxing but I can't relax because time stands still. I add more house uh, so it doesn't look so perfect. A little more grass, a little more grass and a little more grass. After that I make the board crooked so to make it look more realistic. A few more objects to make the scene more interesting and now I saw on YouTube that um, there is this thing called post-process volume. This is a cube that affects the whole scene at once. You can do call correction, exposure and more. I want to do an eye scene, so the exposure I will be turned almost to zero. 
Doing location in Unreal Engine 5, it's a very interesting class that is built almost uh, entirely on creativity, do not need to be distracted by some complicated things. Now you can see me playing with the layer and highlighting the location. The nice scene needs to be illuminated somehow, but to make my own campfire and fire for me now it's an impossible task. Therefore, the only logical solution for me to do on the objects of light to put them in a uh, prominent place and so uh, at the expense of this create is the effect of the fire. So well, one of the most interesting is the creation of new level sequence. This is an analogy Premiere Pro or Vegas Pro. In general, you can edit video, animate character, move object in the scene, move the camera, Camera, move everything what you want. For about an hour I couldn't figure out how to put our created camera in the sequence, but then I figured it out and uh, the work began as it should be. After a while I figured out how to combine multiply cameras so, and how to edit video right inside the UE5. After some more time I realized that the program for this task is not as complicated as I thought. Just look uh, at what's happening on the screen and uh, I'll give a word for Amelia. The author is already better with English than in the last video, ha ha ha. If you like what you are watching now, please put your royal like and subscribe to the channel. It motivates us a lot. When I was struggling with the camera animation, it came to me that I could not make such a boring scene and I wanted to add an animated character to add more mystery to the scene. Since I have no time to model the character, I again turn it to Mixamo. Here I choose one character and three animations for him. The first animation is a T-pose, the second is a fall and the third is a manglet walk. Tipos I downloaded so, along with the character skin. The other two animations I downloaded without skin, just animation. As I understand, so it's when you import animations, pop-up errors can be ignored. From the file system, we drag out Tipos character into the scene. Again, I'm shocked by the quality of the picture and the viewport. After that, I load into the scene the two animations that we additionally downloaded from the Mixamo. To combine all the animation together a little later and get an awesome result. In the menu of our character in the sequence there is tab animation and if we activated it so we will see the available animations. After that we put all the animation on the timeline, beautifully combined it so on top of each other and so as a result we have something beautiful. It's not the fastest process and so uh, I was in a bit of hurry and got a funny mistake. Uh, when the character fell and so uh, lay on the ground he twitches in convulsions so uh, and it looks very funny but I didn't have time to fix it so I moved on. I got a lot of problems with render, but originally I tried to render video in the main sequence tab, but then I watched the video and realized uh, that I need to install two plugins. First one is Movie Render Quai and second is uh, Apple ProRes Media. It feels like so there are a lot more render settings uh, here than there are in Blender. Each parameter can be prescribed manually as code. Even thought I'm not good at it, <laughs> but YouTube helped me as always. I set everything up and put the animation on render. I was very surprised that render here takes 100 times less time than the rest of the 3D software. And before I show you the final results, I really want to ask you to subscribe to my channel, like this video and write a comment under the video. <laughs> please uh, like it or not and why please comment bro <laughs> it's really important for me okay enjoy watching We hope you enjoy our video. The author will try to release a video regularly, 
Good mood to you, friends. Good luck to all and bye.